Good morning, my beautiful friends. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I want to show you I got a small little tower of boxes from Band Other Stories. I am just going to give it a steam and then we'll start trying it on. We're going to say this is good enough. I definitely need a new steamer. I am really sick of this one. It has a super short or at least not long enough cord and a very small water tank. If you have a recommendation for a really good handheld steamer, let me know because I'm really ready to switch this one out. Okay, so I actually have quite a few tops in this haul. I've just been feeling so bored with my tops lately. I wanted to start with this linen set first because this is one of the things I am the most excited about and I'm really, really happy with this. This is so incredibly cute. First off, both of these pieces are 100% linen and then the lining is cotton. I got the top in a size 36 and then the shorts in a size 38, which tends to be my usual size in and other stories. The top here is not loose and I don't have like a very large chest. So if you're a bit more flat chested, this could be really good. I do have a bra on underneath. I think maybe I could go without. I love this neckline here. The details are just adorable. Obviously you can get one piece or the other, but I I love the way this looks like a little bit of a play suit, but I think this top especially is gonna look so good with so many different things. This linen feels very soft. It's not scratchy. It's not like stiff either. It just feels really nice. It's just, straight into the wardrobe. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on to some other pieces here. Next outfit. I am so all about these color combinations. I have this top. It's not a top. It's actually a bodysuit, which I think is great for summer. You don't have to keep tucking it in. It's very skin tight and it just sits in place. It's very non-faffy. I think it's a very flattering neckline. I feel like this would be flattering on a lot of people and it's very comfortable to have on as well. So the top is 92% viscose and 8% elastane, which it is definitely very stretchy. So I don't know if it matters that I have the size that might be a little bit too tight. I love the color here that it's a little bit wider and very pointy. I've said this many times, I feel like a wider collar always makes the garment look a little bit more expensive. I think it goes so well with these trousers. The trousers I got in a size 36 and I think I would need the size up. They're just a touch too tight in the hips but it fits in the waist so I don't know if this might be a pass for me also because this is 90 something percent polyester and that's just it's not gonna work for me for summer even though I think this is such a beautiful color combination and the shape on these trousers is it's beautiful i want these exact trousers but not in polyester because other than that they are absolutely perfection i got this sun hat I do wear hats because they are great for protecting against the sun i just don't wear them a lot on the internet because i struggle to find one that i feel like i look truly really good in if you have any hat tips like definitely let me know i don't know Maybe with a different outfit, but I feel like I can't get really this to work. <sighs> let me know what you think and let me know where you get your favorite hats from. Okay, so I kind of slightly reversed the previous outfits. Oh, my hair is just... I have this beige top and then these shorts. These shorts you might have seen in a couple of videos already. I've had them for a while and I've worn them a ton. They are in a size 36 and they're a little bit on the larger side. I will link them if they're still available. I just think they're so cute. I don't know if you can see, but it's it's obviously beige, but it has that like gold metallic thread running through it as well. I did not realize that when I order it. And I will say it does contribute to it being a little bit, I don't want to say scratchy either, but it's definitely not like super, super soft because it does have that met metallic thread in it. But it's really cute. Again, it has a wider collar here. And this top is 68% viscose, 24% polyamide, and then 8% of that metallic fiber. It's not very long. I tend to tuck my tops to give myself a little bit of height. But if you're very sensitive to your fabrics, needing to be very soft, I would probably skip this one. I really, really, really wanted to love this. And I love the idea of this dress, but it I think it's really, really, really aggressively unflattering on me. First of all, it's looking very baggy here because I can't, like, I can't quite 
sip it up. If you have any idea on how to sip up these dresses yourself, let me know because when I do it myself, I typically take a paper clip and a long string and I stand there and I pull and then I just hope I can still get it off on my own. So I bought this in a size 36 and it was 79 euros. It's 100% cotton, so I think that is really great. It's very sort of breathable. It's not lined, so it feels very comfortable to have on. I don't know, I'm just getting funeral vibes and I was gonna say not in a good way, but that's never a good way is it i really do love black dresses or just black outfits in general for summer but this just doesn't feel like it all right this is a lot more of a success i think i really love that with wrap dresses you can adjust the waistline depending on your day because i definitely go up and down in size and i will be two different sizes before and after dinner so i love that you have like a little bit of freedom with adjusting the dress like that i think it's really beautiful the only thing i will say uh this dress is linen but it has a lining and the lining is polyester and i've complained about this before i have had a subscriber tell me that the polyester lining was actually a good thing I don't know why though. So if you know why, then definitely let me know. They have done it for a reason. And if that reason is not economic cost, I would love to just know. As I'm looking at the table here, I ordered two pairs of sunglasses. These are brown. And as you can see in that like cat eye style, as you can see, they are wide, but they're not too wide, I think. And I love that they're not too tall because that tends to really overpower my face and a lot of the cat eye ones are just so large these are even more cat eye this is definitely a shape that i don't have anything of whereas the other one is much more straight on the bottom so i love the look of these they have so much sort of sass and attitude so i know that these are quite like wide they're definitely a little less basic than the last pair. I actually really love that they're kind of like swooping up like this. Let me know which pair you like more. I also have a necklace I'm gonna show you. So this is in recycled brass. Anyways, it's really, really pretty. It has this bead design and it's coming off a little less gold in camera than it is. And just a beautiful sort of coin pendant type of necklace. It only has one ring so you can't actually adjust the length on this but it's actually a good length though i think this is going to be a good length on most people so this is definitely joining my collection really really beautiful but i also think it's going to be good to layer first off let me just say i'm too lazy to go and get a clip to make this bra into a razor back so the bra straps are really unsightly i know but we're just gonna ignore it just envision that they're not there other than that i think this top is really really pretty it's very comfortable to have on. It feels very, very light and airy. I love that the side, they're laying really flat. They're a bit wider. I feel like that makes the garment look a little bit better. I got this in a size small. And as you can see, it is like super stretchy. So you could definitely try to size down unless you have a very large chest. It is 97% cotton, really beautiful. And I love having these basic pieces for summer that are really comfortable, but just have that like elevation to them. The details make all the difference. A lot of these tops tend to be really short and then they pinch and you get that, that bulge on the side here. So I just really appreciate that this garment fits not like that at all. So I think it's really beautiful. It looks very elevated. I'm gonna mention the jeans I have on. Um, I feel like every haul I try to find a pair of jeans that fit me well and it's just not really happening um <laughs> i'm not going to talk much about this i will mention the size and everything down below uh this is a very ill-fitting pair of jeans i bought them because i think the closure here looks really cool and it's too wide in the leg it's too long low waist just does not look good on me i think it's a very cool detail so if you fit more sort of like mid to low waist jeans definitely check these out because i think this detail again is one of those things that just elevate your jeans and make them look a little bit more special so we're going straight from one thing to another the other top had coverage here and this one has coverage everywhere but here i really don't know what kind of bra you would wear with this kind of top but if you're comfortable going without i mean maybe that's an option i just really want some basic tops that have like cutouts or just tiny 
small details that make them a little bit more uh i think i think this is a miss though <laughs> this is not what we're about <laughs> that's not what i want to do <laughs> with my outfits i'm gonna move on to the last dress but i want to show you if you've watched <laughs> before on from another stories you will know i have already bought one of their bucket bags and da 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 here comes another in my defense this was released after i bought my red one and i really love the red one and this was a little less expensive and all the excuses we have how cute is this bag i love introducing canvas texture in my outfits especially through my bags because you just get like something a little bit more interesting it's obviously not a very large bag but great bag if you're just running errands and you don't need a ton of space i would love to hear what you think do you have handbags that are the same model but in different colors or in different materials let me know if you still wear both of them so this is a very typical piece that I wear a lot for summer. It's definitely a basic, but I live in these kind of dresses. As you can see, this has one split up the side, so it's super comfortable. It doesn't feel constrictive in any way whatsoever. It does have that ribbing going down, so you have a little bit of texture to it. I feel like that really elevates the dress. And as you can see, super stretchy. I don't think you need to <laughs> size up for this whatsoever very nice and comfortable this was i think 69 euros but i will say this is a 46 percent polyamide 40 percent cotton and then 15 14 let's not try to do math here percent linen so you do have some of that like not natural material but it still feels very light and airy i also got a couple of shoes that i completely forgot to mention but i will show I got one flat pair of sandals and this is in metal free and chrome free tanned leather. As you can see it does have that like designer inspired strap going on. Let me try them on. Okay so I am not sure if I'm gonna keep these. I actually think the sole feels pretty comfortable. It's like flexible but the straps around here feel a little bit sharp. I want to say sharp. I don't know if it's because of the seams going on and I don't know it could possibly soften with use. Sometimes you can tell if a shoe will get comfortable with use and sometimes you can't and with this I am a little bit unsure because the straps on the side here just feel a little bit sharp. Let's have a look at the second pair. This is a pair of mules and this is such a sensible heel height. It feels really nice and soft. These feel a lot more like something I'm not that afraid of keeping because they are a little bit tight around here but they're not sharp nowhere else is pinching and because this entire part is leather it is most likely going to mold and get a little bit looser actually in fact my issue often with slides like this is that they get too loose around the foot it feels like a very comfortable shoe and also when they do start to give in here a little bit i do sometimes layer silicone or different kind of inserts into the shoe here to make it last as long as possible. So I think this is definitely the right size. If you're between, I would say go down. That's what I did and they seem to fit well. I had to go and grab this in my wardrobe because I bought this at the same time I bought my white shorts. So I've had this for a little bit and I've worn it quite a bit as well. And it's definitely something very different to the jewelry I already have. I want to experiment more with my jewelry because I have a lot of very similar things. So I felt like that was something that was worth adding. I've been pleasantly surprised with their accessory section, which is why I obviously buy from them again and again. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I should keep or return and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!